tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hi there, I did several tutorials about AI Tune, the Arnold Tune Shader when it came out. This is uh, uh, another tutorial about uh, AI Tune and I uh, combine it with a touch of industrial design, meaning we're creating a nice NURBS surface in order to render something really nice. Okay, a typical thing would be curves and surfaces here, this tool and I create a surface a curve like this press enter and this is what it is let me move it up and duplicate it control D move it a little bit further change it in the dimensions just slightly rotate it just a little bit and move it down just a little bit and now with a shift D I repeat this command basically so it goes down like this. What I want to do is um, take one of the curves, for example that one, and move it back here and up here. Yes. And now I'm creating a loft. And the sequence of selection of course is important. I select this one and that one and that one then it goes a little bit inside, comes out again, and that one. And I use this icon here, or you go to Surfaces Loft, and you see these Surfaces uh, entries here when you're under modeling. So this is the surface I just created. It's not too bad, and what I want to do right away is, because the resolution is pretty low, I just rebuilt it, surfaces, and rebuilt. Use the option box here because you need to uh, set a certain degree, 20 by 10 for example, or 10 by 10, or, or just a little bit more than this, which is basically 7 by 4, so to say. Just fine. And now I can delete the history, so the surface doesn't know where it came from. So when I change this curve, for example, it doesn't do anything, I can delete the curves. Go to the top window and this is the cutting curve here and I cut it into two pieces like this. So I have uh, two curves now and that surface. So what I do now is select both curves plus the surface with the shift key and I go to Surfaces and Project Curve on Surface. So I have two projections now of the curves on the surface. It's all not necessary, it's just for a nicer rendering really. So you see these curves here and obviously you can move them on the surface. So you just pick it here and you can move it around on that surface if you like go to surfaces and now you trim the surface that's the cutting way to, in the NURBS world trim tool and the trim tool asks you bottom left uh, press the mouse button to select the regions to keep I want to keep this region and this region I don't need to uh, pick the shift key I just can click here and there but I don't click in the middle I want to have a basically a space in between here which I have now now these two parts are not separate, they need to be together and I'll keep them like this. Now introduce a light, Arnold Sky Dome light, and now let's do a rendering. It's a white surrounding light which is diffuse and gives us these quite nice shadows here. Standard way to render with Arnold. Now we want to create a tune shader. Right mouse click on the surface and new material and Arnold and AI tune just think about it it's under Arnold if you want under the shaders and it's an AI tune that's what it's called 
It tells me here that it doesn't render with the GPU. Doesn't matter really, it's not a render time intense anyway. When we render it again now, it's brighter because the shader is white, but it doesn't show us anything toonish. And now comes the tricky part, please pay attention. We need to go to the render settings in order to activate those outlines which we want to see, which are basically the key of tune rendering. Okay, the render settings are right here. This is the first icon you need to click. Now the render settings open and you go straight to the Arnold render settings because it's an Arnold thing we're interested in. Now all the way in the middle is filter. Open, open that section. And in the filter you find the filter type which is set to Gaussian or Gaussian which means that uh, we have soft edges basically. We have soft shadows etc. Now we click here and we see a long menu and all the way down which you don't see right away is contour. So let me meditate over that menu. We go to the render settings, to the Arnold tab, open the filter section and change from Gaussian to contour and close it. Don't worry, the next time you start up Maya with a new project, uh, it, it, it will be back to normal. Arnold, render, and now we have the outlines, which is cool. We go to the AI tune here in the, in the attribute editor. These are the settings here. And ignore everything else but the specularity. If it's closed, open the specular section here and raise that value to 1. Let's create a plane. When you go to Make NURBS plane here, you can change the width. You can just raise it dramatically like this. And all of a sudden you see the gray ground start to reflect right here, which is really cool. Let's introduce a new shader for the ground, a Maya Lambert shader, the most simple shader you can have, and change that to a blue color. I think we have to re-render here. Yeah. And now we duplicate it, rotate the duplicate like this, and you see that it's getting even more interesting now. Right mouse click, a new material for the wall, a lamp shader again, and this time we choose a red color. So this is what Arnold renders now. Now let's go back to the Sky Dome light. The Sky Dome light currently is totally white. That's what it shows us here. It shows us this nice diffuse shadow here. It does not show us an outline of the reflection because the Lambert doesn't reflect. You can change this, of course. Um, but uh, what I want to do is I want to map the color of our light in the background with a ramp. So it goes from one color, say from black, to another color, say a very bright yellow, which is not exactly aesthetically pleasing, but it shows you how this light works. And now you go back here in order to get to the main sh um, light attributes and raise the intensity from 1 to 2. And I think now it's time to start rendering using a new camera. View, create camera from view. It's called Perspective 1. It was Perspective before and now it's Perspective 1. It's this one. When you 
animated with keyframes now you need to pick it so let's go to frame number one and start right over here we press the key S now we extend the frame range to say 400 go all the way to the back move the camera and rotate it maybe like this a little bit closer here maybe even more from the top and set another keyframe so this is our camera animation which is not too bad if you want to have a more controlled animation check out tutorials about camera and aim in order to render that camera now if you have the educational version of Maya you go to rendering and here you have the render menu with the paid version of Maya you can now start a batch rendering process it's down here it basically starts a rendering process which is running apart from Maya so can you can continue working within Maya as opposed to the render sequence which we're going to use now because it's the educational version I'm having um, and uh, with a render sequence uh, Maya is blocked during all the rendering so um, we'll come back to this menu in just a second now we go back to the render settings because we need to tell Maya what to render we go to the common settings and give it a name let's call it NURPS tune now we render a JPEG or a PNG for example next section is important name and extension for a single frame that's the default we need an animation with several frames so we check name number and extension uh, frame padding 4 we start with a frame 1 and we end with a frame 400 and further down we see what kind of cameras we want to render we don't want to render the perspective we want to render our new camera which is the perspective one camera and uh, the default settings are HD for 540 what I sometimes do is I check this box here maintain the width and height ratio and I just crank this up to say 1400 so it adapts this value accordingly and basically that's all there is now you can close this and you start the rendering by using either batch render or render sequence with the option box because I want to make sure that I'm rendering perspective one camera have a good day bye bye